<sighs> okay, yeah, so I am sorry if you were watching this and it shut off. I just can't do this. It's just running around trying to trying to make these videos and I'm not prepared. These are just on the whim. Just felt like sharing it because I don't have any time to prep and make a video. Um, so that's why I'm doing this. So I do apologize. It's look, I'm real. I'm the real deal. There's no I'm not a YouTuber first, long care second. I'm long care first, YouTuber second. So all right. So thanks for coming back. If you clicked on the after watching this, if you're not watching it live. If you're new to this channel, I do a lot of these things live um, because I don't have time to edit them or memory on my phone. So a lot of them stay tuned on the being live. So they're real deal, unedited. I'll get back to editing things soon once I figure out all my new equipment. So that's another game. But anyway, let's get back to it. So I got this thing on here. Um, the battery's full. I got to charge it. Look what I did here. So I brought wire all the way out from my garage and we'll plug in the phone. Hold on a second. Awesome. We're plugged in, so now we won't run out of battery. And so, um, okay, so you can see what I did. I opened up the legs here and just turned this. It's been a while since I did this one. You actually turn it and it opens up the legs. Just flip it underneath. The reason why I took the wheel off is I want that jack, all this, um, the jack tongue, as low as I can on the ground, all the way down. And then I just strapped this on another strap there. I put one around here too to keep it from bouncing. So there we go. Sorry folks. I don't know if anybody's followed me back on. But um here we go. So now we're gonna take this part off. Oh uh, now I got the cable. Wanting to um let's do this watch. There you go. See how it opened up when you flip it it just makes it wider. I don't know why it does that. All right, so it is cold. You probably can't hear me. I put tape over the microphone to try to muffle out the sounds from the, um, from the, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the wind. It actually calmed down. That's kind of cool. So, I'm putting my gloves back on because it is cold out here. different than having like an engine lift pulling out an engine block. Now here's the part that I want you to see. This is kind of cool. See how I made this piece? Fits around here. I could take all this off or just leave it. I'm probably going to leave it. So I'm just putting it back on again, maybe for another job. I'm not sure yet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down, but I'm going to close this part.
can throw all the stuff on top of it, but it's got to come off putting it back on in the next day. So it's coming off for one day and it'll be back on to the next day. It's like going to do another job. And then it's got to come off again. <laughs> This I wish was longer. I'm gonna modify it. This isn't long enough. But I should have put this on first and now I can't. Dummy. Big dummy. I'm supposed to put it on. That's just because this thing is does not be this too high. Um, the next thing I'm going to make, I'm going to make it lower. Maybe sit it up here. I just think it's up too high. But it's actually good because it, it'll get it up and over a fence. If you park next to a fence, you can get it over a four foot fence. So I'd like to be able to make this thing go up and down on its own. That'd be nice if I had the energy. Jack sucks. It's junk. It's literally a toy. Don't don't buy this. It's aluminum and it seems like everything I want to lift is heavier than this thing can really handle. I don't see this being a ton and a half. over that.
No, you can't go over a, over a tension core with any kind of wheeled shop pull. It's just the kiss of death. It will not go over it. Yeah. We are off the tether, so I don't know how long we will have the battery. And, uh, it's a really weird time of year. Like I said, this is the, uh, so, weather's all over the place. Hey, yeah, I'm back on. I don't know if the battery went out, so I'm just trying to finish up getting this thing on here. So, here we go. There he is. There we go. There you go. It's not supposed to rain, so I'm just gonna park it here up against there and move that out of the way and move that cord out of the way. So, and there she is. And I'm just gonna get the trailer ready for tomorrow for the big mulch job that I got. I actually have. I just got another one. I got a 10 yard mulch job. I got the six yard mulch job I do every year. Um, so I'm kind of thankful for that. Even though I say I'm never gonna do it again because it's so far away, but. It ain't that big of a deal. It's only one time I go out there. And I don't mind. Sometimes I don't mind getting out. But out during the season, I can't do that. So here you go. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this all off the top. Um, I really don't have to, but I'm going to anyway because it's not going to be filled to the rim. So I'm going to take all this off. So when I go to the, to the yard to load this up, I don't have to worry about waiting in line if I, if I want to hold anybody up and... I'm taking all this off, which comes off in two seconds. Just some screws and pull off the pipes. I'm gonna take out everything out of it, clean, lighten it up as much as possible. Well, because six yards is the absolute maximum that I can take in this trailer. It's actually pushing it. Um, I might just have Billy maybe dip on the other trailer, and I'm gonna let him do two yards in there, and I just take, I'll just take four in this, and that'd be easier. That's I have another trailer in there, like I said. That's actually built better. That is a way built better trailer than this one. So, I've been drying out that carpet that I had. I'm going to use it in the back around the garage area. I'm going to put it down on the ground. That's going to be my floor out there. It's old carpet. I was going to throw it away so it'll end up becoming a floor. So um, to get away from that, this is down here. That's why I use this here to get it even lower. Um, if I'm thinking right, when I take it off the truck, I could just do that. I could just take off the... Uh, that's what I should have just done when I took it off the truck, but I wasn't thinking again. Put that on there. This is the box that I made for it. Very simple design. Um, it changed when I was making it, and when I redid my trailer, I put all my planks flat, and the idea was to make a walking board like or on a boat. So you have a walking plank all the way around. It was a little bit tricky to how to figure that out, but there is an edge on here, a little angle iron edge. Let's see? So I was able to put it flat. Which means you have to use two boards now. You gotta use one on the other side to pinch it in. So you got to anyway. So this I just did a bonus notch just right here, just shoved it in there. This is one of those I had a pencil in my ear and I'm just cutting wood and I wasn't really measuring much. I just was, I just took a couple measurements and hopefully they worked. And um, I actually made this a little bit too wide. No, this is perfect. I made the box too wide that goes on the thing, but it works out because then I have a little thing on the side here to put my feet on when I'm climbing up, so it, it worked out. Um, real simple design, I just put it in, actually I notched this too. I went a little crazy and did a little notch, just gave it like a decking strength, you know, so it goes up in there, and it comes down on here, and then this carries the weight across here, and then this pinches it in, like that, and then this goes up into here and keeps it from going back and forth but I could just put one here but it works it, it, it really doesn't go anywhere because it's so heavy um, and everything's sitting on here and then I added this so I didn't have to push it back as close to here I wanted to back to come out a little bit farther because I was off on my measurements from that line up here and because um, you've seen the way it locks in so I had to adjust things as I went 
it's not a hundred percent but you know, I mean, i'm pretty sure if you make one yourself you can do it better but this is just a simple get her done idea that i came up with um there's no crazy thought that went into this it just was just get it done and i just like i said i pinched it in the bottom by making this piece the clamp that holds it together so it's actually free floating when you put pressure on that it ain't going it ain't going nowhere so yeah and uh these things are nice i just made these because it goes into here but it doesn't have anywhere to go here so i just put this here to connect it to here and then it kind of floats a little bit but this makes a great handle to grab onto the whole trailer if you need to you know so i like that i gotta read all this wood is worked it's time to redo it um this stuff is like all this material was free material that i found so reason why I'm taking taking my time is because I don't feel like buying wood. I'm trying to find scraps, like in a dumpster somewhere, maybe. But the whole top has been redone. I had to redo it a couple times. And then you can see I pinched it here, but when I added this material, I just pinched it in. What did I do here? I don't know. I strengthened it up somehow. It just, it works. It's like a pirate ship. So anyhow, thanks a lot. Billy Goat gets up and on pretty easily. Um, you can find these on Craigslist. Sometimes people are giving them away for free. The Hoyer lift. Um, and, you know, they're kind of expensive to buy them brand new. So if you're going to do that, just buy yourself a, uh, what do you call it, one of those engine lifts. But these wheels are nice. Um, it seems good on all terrain. I don't know. The engine lifts are more of like a harder metal wheel. So I can, you know, put this around with one hand. There goes that damn wind. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, just give me a second here. It's so damn windy, I can't even know. Uh, your questions really quick if you have any. If you have any questions about the um, way it's set up, just let me know. There we go. It's in here. Yeah, it's just keeping nice and warm in here, aren't you, girl? Let's plug in our. Um, our connection here so we won't lose everybody there we go now we're in now we're in i gotta take my damn gloves off now i can't even uh right girl i can't even respond there we go here watch this boom 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 i got supposed to be wider <sighs> well i'm taking it off just to store it for a day or two because um I've got a leaf got a mulch job to do tomorrow i tried to get out there and get ahead of it but the wind was so strong i was i should have recorded it i was like i was dancing with the wind I'm trying to herd the leaves in the one area and hurry up and go to the other side and blow them then go out and blow them back and oh it was fun but um the wind was so strong and cold i couldn't even finish edging because i wanted to get everything done before we went out there this time and then not, not have to waste time two guys out there but there's areas where one can work and start dumping and spreading while there's other areas that i can get around and start start cutting in but at least i don't have to um do the cleanup over there yeah so all right girl and this job's a good half hour away straight i mean half hour is not bad but that's because i'm running on a major highway um, if it wasn't a major highway, it would probably be an hour, an hour away job or more because it's a straight shot. It's like getting on like an interstate. We have like a, like, I don't know what you call them. They're like expressways, what you could say. They built these expressways around here because so many people are living in one area and um, everybody works in either D.C. or Baltimore. So they need these roads to just get you out. And so there's a lot of these expressways everywhere and we got one here called 100 and um it'll run you all the way out into, into another county it goes from county to county almost so that road is almost like an, it's almost like 95 but in a local setting you know everybody gets onto it from some other road and without that road i i wouldn't be able to do this job no way because it runs right past the, the big you know i'll run the mills mall and then it goes up and through and out and then it, it connects all the way to it goes from pasadena all the way to um uh 29 
right there on 29 up by um in Ellicott City or Sykesville or whatever 32 Columbia it runs all the way up to there so there she is yep there you go thanks a lot for watching everybody um I just wanted to show how that goes on and off I'm going to make a really nice video on that one day when I learn how to use my other camera better or get a new phone um I've asked because I've had people actually ask me on my some of the comments that um well how do you do it and from other people watching other videos with the leaf loader I, that's the most number one common question is how do you get that onto the trailer or how do you make a box and um i didn't watch anybody else's videos when i did mine i kind of just did it so i don't know if it's anything similar to anybody else's but i have not seen anybody else using a a hoyer lift to put their leaf loaders i've seen people use block and chains like on a up into the um, rafters i mean you can do that if you have the room but this you can take it anywhere and do it um so it's kind of a diy idea or use a um i know they make harbor freights actually makes one of these um um cranes you can put on the corner of the back of your truck somewhere and that might work um i've heard people i say that um but i'm telling you what two people can't lift that up it's it's that heavy uh when i bought it it was three of us we got it into my truck into the back of my truck and all three of us almost had a freaking hernia trying to pick that up when we when i bought it um that's how heavy that thing is and then with the wood on it, it's even heavier. And that's why I wanted to take as much off as possible when you're loading it up. Now, you don't have to take that, that curved pipe off if you don't want to. Um, I did because it just it's safer. Because um, there's a lot of times when you, and it tips over to one way because it, it picks the weight the wrong way. And this wind, I was afraid it was going to swing around and hit me and i don't know how safe those straps are but the other one that i have actually has the straps for lifting a person up and those straps are strong and um yeah they're meant to pick up somebody who's like 300 pounds up to i think up to 300 pounds or something like that i can't remember that's what those things those things can lift people you know good good weight they can lift a human you know i don't know what the limit on it is but i mean it picks that up without a problem so if you have any questions leave them in the comments i'm sure this, this is people are going to be watching this after the fact just leave your messages your comments in there and i could try to answer them and maybe help you with some ideas or or direct you to some of my videos that i've made previous that actually has this system in here so this is a two-part video only because i ran out of battery and if i figure out how to unload and download it i can probably make one video out of it i gotta figure out how to do that but somebody's getting restless yep what she wants to go in the house Alrighty, folks, thanks a lot. Have fun. Take care. And, um, I don't know, I forgot. Change your underwear. Something else am I supposed to say? Oh, the cutting force is with you. Alright, this time I'm ending it. Okay, how do you end it? Okay. No, go back. Go and.